Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Prime in the Pump edition. That's right. Jesse. All right, so tonight we've got a, we've got a really interesting one. Uh, there's some expectations this one is set. A little bit, I know, right? Right I here. Mean, they're they're kind of calling some folks out with this. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, I mean, here. Um, so uh, try the bourbon that outscored Pappy, 20-year-old, at the 2018 Ultimate Beverage Challenge. I mean, so Bower Hill, mm -hmm. they're throwing the smack down at Pappy. They really are. No, I've never had Pappy. Me either, yeah. and I don't know that's going to change in the very near future. Maybe eventually. Yeah, but uh, I'm curious to see a, a whiskey that's bold enough to make a statement like that. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, Pappy has a reputation. I can't speak from experience with Pappy, but again, Pappy's reputation. I expect big things from this. Yeah, for sure. And now uh, they're saying that they're, they they beat them, so... Yeah. That's a bar. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. It is pretty, though. It I will say that. Bottle. I mean, they spent some money on the glass, no doubt about it. Yeah. Now, this is barrel strength, and I think this mm. one was 59.4. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. 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 And uh, so this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Um, mm. This is from Louisville. Kentucky. Louisville. And, uh, yeah, mm. look at this bottle, man. Look at that top. Glass, no less. Yeah, for sure. And um, I think that is a... Uh, yeah, well, let's see what the top of that. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh. So that's a decanter. Yes, it is. So that's, uh, we've got a little uh, rubber hmm, rubber stopper in there. Yeah, so that has multiple uses. Yeah, and that's Once heavy Once the whiskey is gone, you have yourself a decanter. That would make a nice infinity bottle once you've... Uh, once you've killed it off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that thing's got some heft to it. Yeah, for That's no joke. Mm, that's no joke. Huh. That's, a, that's a zombie going like, up in there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, get into it. That one's going to be a pain in the ass to pour, I bet. Yeah, man, we'll see. Mad skills. It's like you've done this before. Once or twice. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, I have to say, that is a pale whiskey. That is. Now, no, I don't I think there's an age. Yeah, I didn't re don't remember seeing one. No, they just say it's aged in Louisville, but they don't say for how long. Right. Interesting. Interesting. So, no age statement. Yeah. Now, there's a, there's a bunch of writing on the side here, but... Uh, Surgeon General's warning. So, no, no, this is battle oh, for the Battle of Bower Hill. Mm. Um, so, they... Yep, a rebellion originated from the um, excise whiskey tax of 17, uh, 1791. Hmm. Good enough reason. Yeah, so the whiskey rebellion. Hmm. Like I said, it is definitely a lighter color than I expected. It is. It's a little thin in the glass, too. It is. I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, oils are okay. Yeah, decent oils. Not fantastic, but not bad. But yeah, it is a little thinner than expected, a little lighter than expected. Mm. Now, that is a very unique nose. It really is. Now, I mean, it still doesn't stray outside the lines of a bourbon. No. Um, a little bit of a floral nature that I got initially, anyhow. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, it is floral. A little perfumey. Mm -hmm. um, Not mm. punchy, though. No. It, it's actually, for something that's 59.4% ABV, it's, it's kind of mild on the nose. Yeah, it really is. Um, but everything you're getting in there is just really nice. Just, I mean, it smells well done. Yeah. You know, so I've got a little bit of oakiness on it. Uh, but really, it is it is sugary. Um, it is, uh, yeah, something. It's more honey than brown sugar. I would agree with that. There is definitely something floral that hits me on this one that I don't normally get. It's a little different. You know, maybe I'm going to mend that and say honeysuckle. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good point. Yeah, I, I think I think that's more it. Yeah, you know, there's a still hmm. little little additional floral in there, but I get, I get a little bit of honeysuckle. Yeah. Wow. And a little little oaky wood. All right. Well, well, let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow, that is very peppery. It is. Mm. The oh. ABV is definitely present. No doubt about that. Oh, yeah, you really do get some ethanol on that. Yeah. Yeah. 
but man, what a nice, pleasant, peppery note. Um, mm. I mean, it is, it is there. I mean, it is everywhere. Mm. Nice sweetness. Really sweet bourbon. Wow, mm. that's sweet. Just really pleasant. The first sip. The ABV hits, there's no doubt about that. I picked up some of the ethanol, you get a little bit of a burn to it. A little bit of a peppery nature. I gotta say, I'm not getting anything specifically oaky about this one, which leads me to believe that maybe it's a little bit younger. Um, yeah, this is definitely a young whiskey. It seems that way, it sure comes across like it. Yeah, it is lively and pop, you know, I mean, it could have... I think it could use a little more time in the barrel just to mellow it out just a little bit. And I would like to get a little bit more oak influence on this one, to be honest with you. Maybe a, a darker char in the barrel or maybe just more time in the barrel. <clears throat> um, that seems to be what's lacking for me. Yeah, the, uh, the, back, the, uh, the taste on the back end is a little tannic, too. It is, and it's a little drying, but fortunately there are oils there to kind of compensate yeah. for it. <clears throat> that Excuse I mean, me. it, it just lingers forever. But it really does. Fortunately, it's more tannic. Um, I, I'm really kind of getting that uh, that black tea that that that's mm. been steeped just a little too long. Agreed. No, I'm with you on that one. The look at this ABV. There is no shortage of flavor, mm -mm. none whatsoever. The problem that I have with it is there's not really any complexity whatsoever. It kind of sticks with a very narrow flavor profile and does not stray outside of that. So while the flavors are very impactful, there's not a, a, a large variety of flavor going on there. I'm not getting any tobacco. I'm not really getting anything in the way of cherry. Um, I would. I'm going to put a couple drops of water in. That's it. an interesting point. And I, you know, at that ABV, clearly it's going to hold up to it. I'm just curious to see what it brings forward. And by a few drops, I mean like a lot. <laughs> Got drowned. You drowned it. Oh, that changed the nose. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Like, Are you getting like a lemon zest? I'm getting like a lemon zest on that. The water really brought out. That's like kind Mr. Of like a, yeah, like, like Mr. Clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's a uh, yeah, like a. Uh, like lemon, lemon furniture polish. Yeah, lemon pledge. Pledge, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's oily enough. Probably could get away with it. Yeah, I People think People are going to think you're an alcoholic, but it smells nice. <laughs> mm. Mm. That took the pepperiness right out of it. That did not go the direction I thought. Holy crap. Oh, there's a sweetness that hit on the sides. It's like a candy sweetness that I didn't get before. Yeah, and I'm getting lemon drops. I am too. Like real strong lemon drops. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, uh, I mean, that is like the lemon drop candy. Like you've got it in your mouth. And it's been there for like, you know, yeah. for, you're, you're halfway through it. You know, the problem with whiskey reviews, and I say this as a whiskey reviewer, <laughs> amateur. <laughs> um, but look, tastes are subjective. It is what it is. But... Anybody, I think, would get lemon drops out of that. That's just insane. I have never had a bourbon present like that. Okay, that just bumped that that up a notch. I, it, I think it That's really did. Pretty I freaking think, cool. I think it needs the water. Oh yeah, it needs the water. Well, I I like the way we handled it. I think I'd have a couple sips neat, and then I'd add the water, and that way I get both sides of that spectrum. Um, yeah. Again, a little disappointed that you don't get that in the neat pour, where it's, like I said, so focused in on this one flavor profile. But the fact the water did that much is just amazing. It's it's true. And that it presented, you know, ethanol. I mean, you get yeah. the ethanol. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's there. It's present. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's uh, it's smacking you in the face on that. But, man, just a little, just a little bit of water in that. I got to say, you know, clearly they're doing the whiskey side of things right. Um, I wish they changed up the aging a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, changed up the, you know, the treatment of the oak that they're using, or maybe the time in the barrel, something of that nature, to get a little bit more of the oak influence in that. Um, I think that would make it more well-rounded as a neat pour. Um, but that said, the fact that you can add water to it and get that kind of an impact, that's badass. Yeah, it really is. All right, so I will not be drinking this one neat. Yeah, I am absolutely going to be adding water to that. Oh yeah, you know, I may take a that's... sip of it neat and then and then just 
the water impact on that is just amazing. That's freaking cool. I don't know if I've ever had a whiskey that changed that much no, with water. No, not like that. Because I didn't get any lemon on the neat pour. Well, I've, I've never I've never had lemon in a bourbon. Well, that's also true. No, that's a good point. Or present in a bourbon like, like it does here. Not like that. I've had citric, but I've never had anything that was just straight up lemon drop. Yeah, for sure. We get a little close to that with some with the orange. Yeah. But, oh, uh, sure. But not... Uh, well, laws especially. Yeah, laws or especially. Or any of the weeded ones, for weeded that matter, bourbons. sometimes you'll get that... Um, Mash bill wise, I think this is probably not a straight up corn. It seems to me that there's got a, there's a little bit more going on there, but just in very small percentages. Um, but it doesn't hit me as that just you know it's not like getting smacked upside the head with a yeah. I'd be piece curious about the mash bill on this one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It seems like they added something else in there to kind of balance it out, but again, it didn't really impart a whole lot of flavor. Um, interesting. Wow. Very interesting. All right. Again, I don't know how that would stack up against Pappy because I've never tried Pappy, but now I'm a little more curious about Pappy. Uh, a little bit, maybe. Interesting. Well, that brings us to the score. Uh, one to five. What are you thinking? Um, I'm torn. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go three and a half. Yeah. There's a side of me that says this deserves a four, but it depends on what you do with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that too. Um, I, I was, I was certainly gonna be like on the lower end of three mm -hmm. until I added the water. Oh, on absolutely. That. And then no, it, I'm right there with and you. Then it, and then it changed it. So, yep. uh, so I think if I were to have it straight, it would be like a like yeah. two and a half. I think with adding the water, it's oh, it's, it's a three and a half. It makes it a more interesting whiskey at that point. The fact that you can do that. Um, again, change up the barrel, change up the uh, the age or something of that nature to get a little bit more barrel impact, and that would bump it up to a four, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, but as it stands, yeah, three and a half. I'm digging the lemon on that, though. I am, too. I'm going to go back to that. That's really good. Yeah, I think so. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. That's so freaking cool.